It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Any words from NASCAR safety? Jimmy, when you get out of the car, you guys are just plugging along and doing the right things, and you really didn't seem extremely excited over what had just happened. Is that by design that you don't want to get too caught up in the closeness of the chase and keep focused on what you're doing? I don't think so. Um, I've, I guess I, uh, I don't know where my crew guys were when I got out of the car. I think they're all still trying to get to pit uh, to the victory lane area. But uh, I was just kind of relieved that we got the job done. I mean, the last two laps, having the 99 run us down like he did, and then that big slide job. Um, you know, I was, uh, I was evaluating things in my own head and looking at what I was doing in the car and thinking, man, I almost gave up 10 points in a win right there. So uh, I was probably beating myself up a little bit and critiquing what I'd done in the last couple laps. Uh, but it, still, I need to go back and look at the video and understand where it came from because uh, the line that I'd been running and the rhythm that I had was keeping me, keeping a nice gap to him. In fact, I pulled away from him a little bit as we got through some traffic. And I thought I had it in the bag. So um, it was more of me just kind of evaluating the day and, and trying to sharpen up for next week. For the next mile and a half, I guess. Dave Ryan, USA. Dave, my question is for Rick Henry. Uh, Rick, the, the bottom three cars in Chase right now are all Joe Gibbs racing cars. Uh, I know a couple of years ago, your team got off to a similar rough start and, and still managed to win the title with Jimmy in, in 2006. What, 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 what do you think is going on right now with Joe Gibbs and, and that organization? How, you know, how do you get your team, I guess, back in it when you have such a tough start to this thing? You know, I, I, number one, I think, you know, they're the same guys that won all the races Kyle did early in the year. And I think uh, in our in our position, some of the other guys, we worked hard to try to catch up. And they've just had some really bad luck. I mean, you know, you can't and, – and it's going to happen to some other folks. It could happen to us next week in Talladega. You, you're going to have mechanical failures. And you're going to have – you know, you, you just can't do anything about that. And uh, I think they just had a run of bad luck. They had a run of good luck for 26 races. So uh, this thing isn't over. It's not just three or four guys that are going to be able to decide it now. Uh, you know, mathematically, you have a couple of uh, – you have an accident at Talladega, and it takes out, you know, five or six of the front runners, and then, you know, a couple of bad weeks, and they run good. And any, anybody can still win this thing. So – uh, it, it's it's hard when you run good all year, and we have done that. We have we have gone into the chase, you know, had bad luck, some of it self-inflicted, and then regroup. But uh, you know, it, it's just uh, you know, it, it's no way to explain how to do it other than the way they've done it all year. It's just go back, work on what they've got, don't change anything, come back, and you know they'll be good again. Tony was real good. Uh, Denny was good. I think I don't know about Kyle. I think he was pretty good in practice, but uh, you know things just happen. Lewis Frank, ESPN.com for Jimmy. How close did uh, Carl clear you by, and did it affect your entry or exit in that turn? It certainly affected my entry. Um, I affected the whole turn because. He went by so fast, you know, I quickly recognized that he wasn't going to make it. <laughs> and I needed to get turned and, uh, and get away from him so he couldn't side draft me. I didn't know how, how well he was going to be back in the gas. So I really, when he went by, I saw him, saw him whiz by, I, uh, I changed my entire line through the corner and, and uh, you know, all the way to the start finish line for that matter. But I think he cleared me by quite a bit. It wasn't close. I mean, he, he drove in there so hard. Um, he had me by. It seemed to me by six or seven car lengths, but I'm sure it was closer than that. Uh, but I, I mean, I could see all of his car when it went by. It wasn't uh, normally when you're close to other people, you can just see the top of their car or the, from the, the wing up, just from our vantage point when we sit in it. And I could see the whole car when he went by, so he had to be pretty far in front of me. Okay, we'll come back down here now. Uh, start with Claire. You go to Hampton and David. 
Claire Belang, XM Satellite Radio. Um, I was going to ask Rick about the 18 and the 20, but since that's been asked, I really want to ask you, Jimmy, how aware you are of all the issues that are happening. You try to focus on your own program, but you know the tachometer for Burton and when people fall back or have issues, how cognizant you are of that. And then also, there were a lot of incidents on Pitt Road, uh, and uh, I'd like to talk about how close it is coming in and out of Pitt Road and how that might figure into the chase. A um, couple of things. One, pit road, when you come to tracks where two tires are an option, uh, you're going to have problems on, on pit road. It, it, the line of cars coming to pit road is so long, somebody comes in for two and they leave and there's guys still trying to get in and out and it's a mess and that's why qualifying is so important. Um, if you can have an opening or be down there at the front of the, the line, it's, it just takes you out of harm's way. Um, as far as knowing what goes on with other cars, I can say when I started, I was really concerned and worried about every point and somebody would have a problem and I'd get excited and even we'd talk about it on the radio. But somewhere in those first couple of years, when we'd see something happen to someone and get excited, something that would then happen to us. So it's funny, we'll all watch um, somebody have a problem and we will not talk about it on the radio. You just focus on your game, focus on your car, your stops, your stuff. And at the end of the day, on the plane ride home, you take the point sheet and look at it. But until then, um, you almost bring something upon yourself if you're, if you're paying attention to those things and worried about those things. Kevin Stevens, ESPN The Mag.